Hello, Cyberland. This is Marlin again with Old Fart Hacks. And this is the ongoing saga of trying to get, trying to get, a tool post holder on my little mini lathe, my 7x14. The correct size is this OXA. Um, as you saw in the previous video, I'd had a little bit of a trouble with this in that the ring here would not turn. And so I contacted the, the seller. Um, they and I have been talking about it. They had offered me, they said, we can't get anything, any parts to fix that. Our vendor is non-responsive. That's the last one we had, you know, the normal blah, blah, blah. And so that leaves me with, and then they offered, said, well, tell you what, if we give you a discount, will you fix it? And I said, well, to myself, well, self, given that it looks like the whole problem, as I pointed out in the other video, I might as well take this off. That's one thing I like. These blocks do fit, and it pisses me off that I can't keep this one. The whole problem is right here, or was right here in this, this shoulder bolt slash nut, whatever you want to call it. It was a little bit too short from the base end up to the mating surface here. And so I just stuck that on the lathe and turned about to 20 thousandths, 25 thousandths off the back of it. And now it moves smoothly, <laughs> more or less. It actually does move smoothly. The only problem is that the jaws bind. But once the jaw, because this nut's now tight, but once the jaws, once you try and move it, the jaws will come up. And then when you try and go down, they hang up. It's primarily this one. And as you notice, clicking at them and playing with them, you can then get them to go down. There's too much slop in these, is what it comes down to, and it, the, the foots on them are incorrect for the slots. This makes it impossible to actually use the thing. To, fi to fix this, I would literally have to come and weld onto the back side of these, or on one side of this foot, um, some material so that it would stay better engaged with the worm. Again, I press here. And here, and wiggle them around a little bit, and it will then maybe <laughs> sometimes on every other Thursday or when the sun and moon are in the right, correct alignment, it will then slide all the way down. So this one again is going. To, this tool post is going to have to go back as well. As I said, I'm a little disappointed because I liked the way the tool holders, the tool holders themselves, were made. But I can't accept having to fight the cams every time I want to change a tool post holder. That's just not going to fly. So that's where we are on tool post holder number two from, what was it? Um, who was that? Those people. Auto Component 999. Another fail. Such fun. And yes, you didn't see my smiling face on that one. this one because, frankly, I'm not in the mood to put my smiling face up there. Aren't I a crudgemudgeon? Anyway, y'all have a good day, and we'll continue this later. Bye. Well, let me show you actually what, what I did do this, just while I'm thinking about it. As I said, this is now tight. Before, if you look at the previous videos, I had to have that loose to make this, this move. But... To make this this move, and yes, I'm not or I'm I didn't uh, properly bevel that, so yeah, or uh, chamfer that, so I'm not part or I'm part of the animalistic group. But anyway, I just took a small amount off the surface, right there. This this cheer you can't see it because my finger. There we go. This surface right here is where I and you can see how shiny that is. I will bevel that just because I'm not a monster. I'll even bevel this, which they didn't. But that's where we are, folks. Anyway, have a good day. See you later. 
Oh, do, if you would, please, remember to like it. If you really like me, please subscribe. Please, please, please. I could use a subscription or two. Much joy. Have a good life. Be safe and all that. Bye.